Hi and welcome. Today I am going to take you through a bit of a workflow exercise. Uh, my workflow, what I do, what I like to do when I make uh, music. And what I'm doing today is I've got a project and um, I've got some vocals that a singer has given to me. Just a bit of history. I just literally came up with this by humming a tune into my phone and then recording that uh, onto, my, uh, onto Ableton. And then I came up with a melody and lyrics, and then I sent those uh, those lyrics off to a singer, who has come back with this. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. I wanna go somewhere we've never so it's seen. Not bad. You promised me the world. So I've frozen all the tracks just because this is. A recording through uh, MME and not ASIO, so I want to, don't want to kill the CPU on my machine. So basically, what I wanted to do is I actually have made this song into made these this into a song, but I didn't like it that much. And so my project today is um, to just redo redo the whole song based around the lyrics. So let's get started. I'm not going to touch the um, the vocals too much. I've you know, inst I've uh, brought them in and I've lined them up. That's it. So at a later stage, I think near the end of the project, I will start chopping up some of the the air, uh, some of the space. Sorry. So, so if you if you if you have a look, if we expand the space quite a bit, let's just see how far we can expand it. You can see these little dots, which means there's like a bit of background hissing and a bit of sound in here. So one of the things I could use is a tool called uh, vo voice denoise which I really like and that does cut a lot of the noise out and I'll be using that as I say near the end because that does use a lot of CPU and I'll be using it at the end on all of the vocal tracks um, but I will still also be cutting out I'll be doing things like getting rid of the, the sort of space here all right so we just just have nothing there at all but for now just for the fact that they're lined up I'm just leaving them there for this project and for this demonstration I'm hoping not to talk too much in this but I just wanted to just get started with um, some drums first so let's do that so I'm just gonna go to my splice folder and have a look at some kick sounds let's see what we've got here Just gonna audition a few. That's not too bad. So I'll just bring that in and just see what it sounds like. I wanna know what you mean to me. Um, let's just try another one. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. I think we'll stick with this one. I'm just going to have to transpose it a little bit. So it doesn't sound quite with the song. I want to know what you mean to me. I want to know. I want to I want to know what you mean to me. Okay, so that's that's better. And the other thing I don't like about it is it's nearing the edge of the clipping area, so I'm just going to reduce reduce the volume just slightly. I wanna know. And I'm going to reduce it here as well to minus six. I wanna know what you mean to me. I okay, so that's not too bad. So I'm just gonna duplicate this across the whole track. I mean, we'll be chopping and changing that later anyway. So let's get some snare in now. I like Lindrum snare, so let's see what we've got here. Just see what this one sounds like. It's a bit strong, but just listen to it anyway. I 
somewhere we've never seen. I want so I think the little, there's a slight problem here is that the song starts on the offbeat. So just going to select the whole thing and just move it one. I want Let's see what happens if we do that. Let's just take that. We'll start it here. Let's take one of the samples I haven't touched. There you go. And just realign things a little bit. Whoops, no, there's something wrong there. I wanna, I wanna, wanna, I wanna know what you mean. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. Let's try another one. Another one. I'm not really sure I'm feeling any of these. Let's try this one. It's a bit weird, but... No. I think we're going to stick to this 14 sound. Let's try it now. I think fourteen is the one. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. Wanna, 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 wanna know. Wanna know. Wanna know. So I'm just getting it tuned up. And. Just gonna consolidate that and just just do that. I wanna know what you mean to me. It's a bit high, I isn't it? Uh, but I think we'll just. I don't want to spend too much time on this actually. I wanna go somewhere we've never seen. So let's go to plugins really and get. I get reverb onto the snare. I wanna know. Right, so it's not too bad, so let's get some hats, hats going in the samples. Let's just see what that sounds like. I wanna know. It's rubbish. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I wanna know what you mean. Let's try this one here. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know what you mean. I wanna know. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. I think we're going to stick with this one here. I wanna know what you mean to me. It's a bit abrasive in terms of sound, but I'll be I'll be going back to it later. Let's get the well. The other thing is it's a bit loud. Just bring the. I'm going to bring all of these down a little bit. So we've got headroom on all of them. 
maybe this one a little bit more. That's a bit. And in fact, I'm going to bring this one down as well because it was a bit higher. Just want headroom on all of the samples. And this one as well. The hat's a bit too loud. So I'm going to reduce the volume of the sample for hats. Keep the hat, the snare, snare fairly loud. I'm going to get some claps in. Clap, clap. That's not bad. So just want to get rid of some of this stuff here. So let's see what that sounds like. I wanna know. Yes, yeah, so I just want the transient of the clap. So just want to do this. Going to consolidate that and duplicate, 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 duplicate. And this one here, I don't know, let's just leave that last double clap. I love the double claps. Oh. I'm going to just leave that for now. I'm going to consolidate the whole thing. And what I did before was just gave it a bit of headroom and we're going to just copy the copy the um, reverb from the snare to the clap. Let's hear that. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. I wanna go. Okay, it's not okay, it's not the best sound of the world, so I'm gonna have to work on that. But I think as a starting point this isn't bad. So next thing I want to do is group all of the drums together. I just want to Call it the drum group. I'm going to group all the vocals together. Control G and call that the vocal group. And I said I wouldn't talk, but here I am talking to you. So let's do that. The next thing I want to do is bring a bass in. So my technique. I used to just key the bass in with MIDI and I think that I'm still going to do something like that but I, I'm now stealing bass lines from all over the place so uh, let's just see, <laughs> see what we've got here. So I'm just going to go to my samples area and just steal something. That'll do. Just anything. <laughs> so I'm just going to steal a bass just to get an idea and then from there we'll just um, see what we can do. Okay, so. So I'm just going to transpose the bass until it's in it's in line with the rest of the song in terms of tune. I think number one was the one. One semitone. Well, that's a first. <laughs> so I've just brought a sample in that, apart from changing it by increasing it by one semitone, I don't actually have to do anything here. So, I mean, it's just done. So I'm going to try something else. I'm going to duplicate this bass. So I don't want to lose what I've got here. I'm going to um, disable that track. I just like the beginning of the bass a lot.
I don't know. I like that one. I like that. I think so. What I'm doing is I'm bringing that first part of the bass line here, and I actually think that sounds good. But I like the way it sounded before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that and chop this here. I'm going to duplicate all of that here, and then on this part here, I'm going to add that bit. No, no, wrong. I'm going to add that here. So let's listen to it now. I want to know what you mean to me. I want to know. I want to go somewhere we've never seen. You promise me the world. You don't really care. Okay, so there's that variation in the last part of the bass, which I, I'm loving. I'm going to still keep that first bass. I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it rough. Rough idea. So I'm going to then, I'm going to consolidate this. I like that. That's, that was a surprise. That's a bit of a surprise how good that is. Okay. So we've got and this funny bit there. That's fine. I think I'll just leave this. So the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to rip the melody out of the bass. This could take some time, boys and girls. <laughs> but you know you love it. You know you want it. Why don't you just go make a cup of tea? Make yourself a cup of tea. You know what? I'm just sipping on a cup of tea now, and there was a bit of a news story today about um, how premium tea bags um, have microplastics in them. I mean, microplastics. And then there was another story where scientists or some someone was saying that microplastics aren't dangerous. What do you think about that? I don't think I'm going to drink tea anymore. <laughs> I don't drink coffee and I'm going to have to quit tea as well. So I'm just going to have to drink water until someone tells me there's microplastics in that. Okay, so we've done the, um, the rip to melody. Let's see what the MIDI looks like. So it looks weird, but let's bring a diva in so we can actually... Let's bring this deep va bass. This is this is um, <clears throat> this is a, a preset that I've, I've made <laughs> myself a long time ago. But let's see what it sounds like with that one. Ooh, a lot in there. So okay, so it's got so it's a preset in simpler. I wanna know. Whoa. Okay, let's get. Let's change the pitch up by 12. Oh, no, actually. What am I doing? There's a preset for that too. So let's bring that in. I wanna know. Let's bring in the 24. It's quite, it's quite a deep bass, isn't it? I wanna know. Okay, so the sample is not right, so we're gonna to have to repitch it to the right to the track. Okay, what I'm going to do there, I think I know what's happening here. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to bring in a, 
um, a synth master, which is um, a low CPU base. I just want to make sure um, the actual MIDI is correct. And then I'll bring that other base back in. So the synth master, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. Get rid of the compressor and all that other crap. I'm going to get rid of the whole thing, actually, and bring the synth master back in. SynthMaster costs like £29 or dollars or whatever. For the money, it is incredibly good. That's my plug of the day. So we've got some bass coming in. Let's, get, um, let's audition some sounds. I mean, how good is that? SynthMaster rocks. Floyd bass. That's normally in time. They say so it's, yeah, something's wrong there. So just fix the MIDI. Oh, I know what's happened. That's out. Uh, let's bring that to 12. That's that bit doesn't sound right. Oh. Oh. No. I wanna Okay, so now we've kind of fixed <laughs> now we've kind of fixed that up. We can bring this back in. So goodbye, Synth Master. Thank you for your help. Um, and let's uh, change this. I think this was six. No, oh, I can't remember. Sixteen. Oh yeah. So here you go, we've got our bass. Um, so let's get, um, I'm just gonna reduce all this stuff. I'm going to, hmm, hmm. Is it time to introduce the sub bass? Uh, let me just, yeah, let's bring the serum in. See, serum, serum. Oh, hold on, before I do that, let's bring it into here, into the chain, and let's get a sub, sub. Uh, no effects, sub. Oh, problem. I knew there'd be a problem. This pitch is the problem. No, we want a pitch. I didn't realize I'd have so many pitch problems with this uh, track, but I, I am having them. So let me just put the... Just for the serum, we just need to... Reduce that by four. Ah, oh, yeah, that's better. All right, so we just get uh, the EQ and <clears throat> we'll get some EQ on the serum. Uh, 
I'm gonna kill all the top end. Solo this. I wanna go somewhere we've never seen. You promise me the world. You don't really care. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. I wanna go somewhere we've never seen. You promise me the world. You don't really care. Okay, so that will do for the bass, and I'm just going to group these into a bass bass group. Bass group. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add the um, either a piano or a synth, but I'm thinking synth. So let's let's do that now. So the question is, how? Uh, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do actually is take this uh, MIDI and because remember I stole this from a sample, I'm going to take this MIDI and put it into a synth MIDI which will, which will be synth master not diva because of the low CPU. Once again, so synth master I'll just use to get a basic sound and I'll probably probably replace it with depends on what it sounds like I'll probably replace it with um, with diva I wanna know what you mean to me I wanna know I wanna go somewhere we've never seen promise me the I'm just auditioning sounds I think I've made a mistake. I'm just going to go straight to Diva here. Okay, sorry. Goodbye, Synthmaster. So, get the multi core on. I'm just going to go and get a basic polysynth. So I want to turn these into chords. <laughs> so let's do that by um, manipulating the MIDI. So I'm going to be manipulating this a lot. Um, so I think just a starting point, just get the the right chords as the the good, the best starting point. So this could take a bit of time. So apologies, and you can always fast forward if you don't want to see this.
lift it up a, an octave. So let's do some messing with the sounds. So let's get um, let's get um, some of these into chords. So. So they seem to have the same rhythm, these chords, so I'm just going to mess, just copy and paste some of the, the structure.
mess. Let's just get rid of that. So something is not right here. Let's take that one out. Oh, ah, okay. That's the problem. Duh. Okay. So... Thank you. 
There it is. Wow, it took so long to work that to see to find that problem. That's crazy. Okay, so that has taken forever, and I think it's because I made some screws, screw ups. Let's just change the sound. this track diva can kill the machine <laughs> so that's so all of this um, <clears throat> that I'm going through I'm probably going to go through a hundred more times until I get the right sound but I think for now <clears throat> we've got something we can we can work with if that makes sense um, so let us move on to the next bit this what you are baby what so I think we can shamelessly copy all of what we've just done here to the second part this what you are baby what you are this what you are baby Okay, so just a bit of arrangement stuff here. So I think at the beginning, we're going to get rid of the kick. I'm going to get rid of the snare. And all of the drums, actually. And the bass. Let's bring the kick back in. <laughs> I, wanna know what you mean to me. I think there's a problem with the diva. I wanna know what you mean to me. I wanna know. I wanna go somewhere we've never seen. You promised me the world. You don't really. Ah, 
problem also with the kick. Bit of funny stuff there. The diva, I know what the problem is, so I'm just going to freeze it and uh, get the EQ going on it. It sounds just terrible like that, so I wanna know. yeah, let's kill all of that low end. <laughs> that just sounded bad. I'll just do that again. to do something else with this. I'm going to group all this stuff together. Not the kickstart, just the sound here. Group that and we're going to get a, just a little synth master sound going as well. Just to give it something a little bit extra on the high end. We'll, it will kill <laughs> <laughs> my CPU, but let's we'll freeze that once we get it in. Let's get some pads going. I wanna know. forgot about the EQ. Let's freeze that baby. Not there, this one.
God damn. Cutting and pasting is hard work <laughs> in Ableton anyway. I don't like that clap. I don't like the clap. Let's, just, <laughs> let's get uh, let's get this going. I think we need a synth, so I'm just going to bring this down and get a synth master. Oh, let's kill this and turn this serum into into a synth. Let's look at presets, synth pad, sequence of synth. This what you are, baby, what you are This what you are, baby This what you are, baby, what you are Your promises are broken before you even start ooh, ooh, ooh. So how come you ran out of here When I need you Big fail there. That's the wrong one. Big fail. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's better.
you've noticed that I've gone all quiet now. I'm just um, <laughs> super focused on this tune. So just gonna mess with the vocals a bit. Unfreeze. So these two both need the the same plugin, so I'm just gonna In fact these two need to be grouped together because they're really one track. So I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, So I'm just gonna put all of the, the <coughs> all of the effects on that lead vocal because it's really one like one track and so let's just get the compressor going mess around with some effects. I don't really know which effects to add except make a love micro shift just to make the make it wide, make that vocal sound wide. Right. The question is whether we put it before or after the reverb. Sounds good. Just unfreeze that one. I'm gonna just gonna copy all of this onto that ad lib. Just hear how it sounds. <laughs>
and let's screw with it a bit by padding. Let's put this delay. In. Let's get the echoes dotted. Vocals. I've never used these ones. Let's try this one. This is just on the Alice. Well, let's center that. Mm -hmm. Let's use some. I think there's a bit of. It's not working very well, isn't it? So, not happy with that. Let me just try this one. I love that, but I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Let me just go back to what I normally use, which is the dotted eighth. I think I'm going to just leave that like that and we've got these beautiful backing harmony vocals let's just listen to them let's get the that's gonna have these are a group as well so I'm just gonna unfreeze this so these will be grouped together as harmonies they're mono so that's good so I think let's group them let's move these to 50 and this one to minus 50 and put all the effects in here all right so we don't need um so much of this micro shift here i'm just going to reduce the mix all we need is a little bit more reverb. So they're really loud and nice, but I'm going to do something that people are going to not forgive me. <laughs> For I'm going to I'm going to side chain those vocals. You know what? I'm not going to do that at all. <laughs> That's terrible. So uh, let's just. Try this.
Right, girls and boys. Um, I will put a link to the to the song. It's not going to be finished. Um, well, depends when you listen to this video. I'm going to put a link to the song as is, not finished, but you know, so you can just listen to it. And then when I do finally finish it, I'll put another link to the uh, to the completed song, if that makes sense. So I hope you like this video. I could go on and on and on, but. I think I would be boring you to tears. So I really appreciate that anyone who has spent any time following this. Uh, and um, yeah, all the best. And I uh, hope to see you soon on the next one. Bye.